Hi everyone, today I will be reviewing the Microsoft Arc keyboard which is this lovely thing here okay and that's what it looks like on your desk now there's an optional mouse that comes with it but um, I didn't purchase that it's um, I tried using it in the store and it was um, a bit weird so I decided not to bother with it but as you can see it's got like a um, like a wedge shape to it even though this isn't the wedge um, version there is a wedge keyboard out at the moment but that's completely different to this okay so let's start unboxing this okay so my weapon of choice is my straight razor so I just do a nice slit there another one oops I'm just butchering this at the moment. Need some more stropping, I guess. Okay, so there we go. There we go. Okay, nice empty box there. So, what you end up getting is this bag, I think it's actually in the bag, which is quite nice. Don't know if you can. Yeah, we just pick it out like this. It's got the nice uh, Microsoft logo on there, if you can see it. There you go. Du -du -du -du. Okay, so. Ooh, there it is. It's going to get all fingerprints on it now. It's already a shiny, shiny material. Okay, so there you go. Looks pretty cool. It reminds me of a um, keyboard I had back in 2001. Uh, oh, okay, there's a USB transceiver there, if I can just grab that. Okay, now what you'll notice with this is that it's magnetic. So what it will do, it will stick to that and it won't fall off. So you can travel with this, which is good. Okay, let's see what's in here. Okay, the battery compartment. Let's start putting the batteries in. Let's take the transceiver out. Hopefully I won't lose that. Okay, so you get some AAA Duracell batteries, which is always good. I always find that Microsoft give you uh, Duracell batteries. Oh gosh, what's wrong with the focus on the video? Okay, so you get this manual. It looks like it's a manual. Let's just see what's in here. Okay. So just silly advertising bump and probably okay limited warranty and a product guide okay so we'll keep the product guide out even though we won't need it he says <laughs> okay so I pop that in there and put that to one side and what I do is just twist them in the opposite direction and it usually takes the, the wrapping off just like that. Okay. So I already know that I've got a good product here because it came with a good set of batteries. So there we go. Okay, sorry about that interruption. Uh, there was somebody at the door. So I've just put the batteries in, put the case back on, and um, let's give this a try. 
Now I've got to unplug my mouse. Let's just get wood open. And I'll just install this. Shouldn't need any drivers, especially as I've got Windows 8. You've got your uh, basic function keys here, and you've got your page up, page down, volume controls, and you've got this nifty little directional pad for your arrow keys. So let's give this a try. Okay, it's not doing anything. Let's try that again. Ah, there you go. Need to switch it on. There we go. Okay, if you have a look in the top corner here, it's got a little power symbol. So you've got to switch it on. I guess it shuts down automatically when you're not using it. So there's a uh, if I can spell well I'm not the best typer in the world I'm not the best speller in the world either but it feels really natural a lot better than the um, keyboard that you get on uh, a laptop like this which um, I hate using. I usually plug in another Logitech um, standard keyboard. Feels good so what I'm going to do I'm going to take it to work with me and test it there in the work environment and hopefully it will be 